What is going on, Governor's Just School here, and today we're bringing you another KVK video. This is footage from the first four days of our KVK insanity. And man, if you like when we cover KVK footage in depth to talk strategy, you should definitely like and subscribe because that's the thing we're going to do here. And we are a sponsored creator with Rise of Kingdoms. Now, you're watching a rally in on a flag. We're struggling to keep it full, but the commanders we've got are superior, Yi Song Ye, with. None other than Minamoto as the secondary, and the rally that is in against us here is Caesar with, I don't even know who the secondary is, I'll have to get a closer look, but I don't think that's a particularly great combo. You can see we switch it up to use our Richard I and uh, Charles as the secondary, uh, because I think that's a better combo if you're not dealing with a swarm. And it looks like Shifty is using Freddy as the secondary, which again, I don't think Caesar Freddy is a particularly great combo, even if they're both expertise. So we see this battle cruising along. I'm unfortunately overdue to scout. Bujan's doing a great job, dun dumping a bunch of troops in the flag. It looks like we're seeing B on the front line, which is the thing I, uh, I feel like I've not seen as much of in my other videos, but that's probably because I was in Endgame for much of the first part of the series. He's dumping a bunch of armies into the flag. I mean, yeah, stuff is happening here. Stuff is happening. There's the scout, finally. Let's get a look at this rally. How's the rally doing? There's the report. They're down to a million. That's pretty good, assuming we could get more into the flag, which we can't right now. Death Squad sending his troops back. We've got folks sending siege units because they've had so many troops die. Some resource assistance being sent over to walls, it looks like. This rally should go really well for us, but we're just drained. We're just freaking drained. We switch it up to an AoE commander so we can start to get some value here. And bada boom, we're going to start to do some work with that AoE, hitting all the armies nearby here, getting some free kills. Um... It's not going to be enough to make up for the fact that we are losing this rally. B sending his armies out, and looks like Bujan might have dropped some more armies into the flag. Whew. A lot going on. B now hitting the rally. Yeah, this is mayhem. I can't tell if we're going to win this, but we are getting some decent value, it looks like, from that AoE. That seems pretty good to me. That seems pretty good to me, although... I think we're going to lose this rally. I think we're about to lose this rally. At this point in our KVK experience, we're down around 3 plus million power in troops. So we have lost as many troops as we're really willing to commit uh, in like a two-day window. So this was like 800,000 or so troops that we lost in two days. There we go. Flag is down. Let's get a look at this report. Um, yeah, should have been better for us, but wasn't because we couldn't keep the darn flag full. Couldn't keep the darn flag full. We got some incidental extra kills around the edges here, but, you know, not really enough to make it a value trade-off, given that we're up against two kingdoms. And if we look at the power loss at the start of this report, we can see that, like, yeah, we had a lot more troops down in terms of healing as well. So that really did not go well for us. Here's another rally in on the flag across the way from Shifty at the helm. I think we're going to see if we can extinguish that flag. This rally is successful in the defense. Looks like we didn't catch all of the recording for that, but we did manage to get our troops over there to captain it. We did teleport over to the other side, getting a look at the report. This is how a report should look for a defense. We had about 300,000 dead. They had about 540,000 dead. That is what a good defense should look like. I think a part of what's going on with that other flag is that it's entirely possible that their army is on their own alliance territory somehow because of the position of our flags. So they might be getting all of the territory buffs as well for their rally, which would make that really, really tough. Yeah, it looks like it's close enough to their territory that they may actually be getting territory buffs. Yikes. Yikes, yikes, yikes. Now... At this point, pretty sure we're feeling like 
we need to be moving back to the other side of the bridge and to let those flags burn. But we notice Happy Feet is trying to get a jump on us here. Um, so we try to send some troops over to go deal with it. We send uh, our city over, and we're going to try to burn this flag. Hopefully nobody's in it yet. Don't know if that's true or not. We send two armies just in case. And it looks like they've got more reinforcements coming. We scout it. Bummer, they actually have troops in there. I think we're getting really good value in that trade-off there, but because they've got, looks like some T5s coming in to support it, we end up bailing, and um, I think we killed like 5,000 of theirs, they killed 1,000 of ours. Now it's time to rally. Now it's time to rally. This was a combo I ended up really liking for rallies. Yi Song Ye with Minamoto, they both care a lot about damage, and Yi Song Ye elevates the damage. Um, if you like guides about that kind of stuff, I've got uh, a link I'll put up in the corner that... Uh, we'll talk all about the optimal builds and the optimal pairings for leading and defending against rallies. So now we've got this rally in. We've got to kill it while it's building. They're starting to go into the open field. Our rally has not received any support yet, but I'm, I'm sure it will. And we end up marking it with... Um, we end up marking it in games that folks know, like, this is a thing we really need to take care of. Now we see Punisher, Punisher, the madman himself, joining into the fray. He's going to participate in this. And it looks like some folks are trying to support the rally, but they're not going the most optimal route to get to the city, which is pretty tough. If you're in that situation where, like, you're going to have to end up going through enemy territory, you really got to go through, you know, some manual moving around of the army before you actually put it into the rally. Gen X has come to the line and he's going to help with this rally as well. Tony dumping troops into the rally, which is great to see. And the action is about to begin. The action's about to begin. We make a call in Alliance chat that like, hey folks, please do really fill this rally up. And we keep the continual scouting going to see what this thing looks like. And they've still got the wrong captain. In fact, I don't even think I saw a secondary commander. So we are going to melt the heck out of this if the rally goes. And like, honestly, we don't even need, pff, we do not even need a full rally. We scout it again. Oh yeah. Their flag's full, but still don't have proper commanders. We'll take that rally all day. Punisher sending some troops out into the open field. I make a call for more reinforcements. Shifty showing up in the open field. Good news. We've got Punisher to go handle that. Yikes. Here comes the rally in on the flag. And it looks like one folk, one person's like, F it, I'm out of here. I'm not taking this rally. Another person's like, I'm out of here. I'm not taking this rally. A third person leaves the flag because they see the writing on the wall. The wrong commanders are there. You should not take that rally and big damage in on the flag single target damage from minamoto doing serious work this flag is going down and because it's still being built we get sweet value the flag is gone it doesn't even burn Twenty nine thousand dead for us One hundred eighty three thousand dead for them that is a high quality report that is the kind of value you want to be hunting for in KVK, especially if you're going to be in a sustained contest. So now that that flag is down, we've got kind of an interesting question. Should we be building flags of our own to try to push back? And I would argue probably we should at this point. I've got to be thinking about it. They've got a flag down below that we could also burn that's not connected right now. So that seems like a pretty good activity, honestly. This seems like a pretty good activity. Um, some amount of open field combat going on with Shifty's armies. They're pretty far away from where help would be, so this could be a pretty good contest for us against his armies and then also for building a flag. More armies pouring onto the field, and I mean, you know, look, Shifty's got infinite resources. He's not actually worried about the repairs that are going to come from this, so... Not really that big of a deal. Punisher looks like he's got an army full of siege units, which kind of goes to show you the stage that we're at at this point in the KVK, even though it's only like two days in, is that folks have lost a whole heck of a lot of troops. 
Here we go. We do decide. It's flag time, baby. We send cavalry in to fill the flag. Probably the way to have done that would have been to send the army first, put it where we want the flag, then build the flag. That way there's no way at all that someone could kill it before we even have any troops supporting it at all. And now we build this sucker up, which enables us to burn a flag that is disconnected, which is great, and to burn a flag that is connected, which should be pretty straightforward because now we would have the favorable end of that bridge. Finally. <laughs> Finally. It looks like we're trying to send some infantry into the flag to make ourselves the captain. However, every time we go to do that, it looks like it's full. Okay, we're sending a smaller number of longswordsmen. That makes sense. That makes sense. Here we go. Into the flag we go. Bada boom. Now we make ourselves captain and hope they don't rally to the darn thing. I would believe that they probably are, which is why I make the call to fill this darn thing right away. Yeah. Let's see here. Around the bridge, things are looking calm. The flag that was burning earlier has been extinguished. More players porting into the action. And there is some number of troops in the flag. I don't know if it's getting rallied at this point or not. Um, we spent, by the way, pretty much all of KVK getting scouted. Like, all of KVK getting scouted. It was pretty nuts. Okay. Flag is finally full. Looking good. Happy Feet's been launching rallies, but canceling them. Not sure what's going on there. And as soon as this flag builds, which we're just seconds away from, the burning begins. By the way, worth calling attention to the fact that this footage is at 2x speed, whereas the other footage with reports is at 1x speed. Cities are porting away, which is a really good sign for us to burn this other happy feet flag. I'm inclined to believe we're going to go for it. I don't remember exactly what we did. There we go. Flag is built. We are now porting in, and folks are pushing forward to go burn their flag. This makes a ton of sense. Macy May on the front line. Nice. Flag is burning. I don't know how all those armies got there so fast. Holy moly. More people porting in. Captain America himself on the front line. That's awesome, man. Oh, I miss the, the good times fighting with Bujan and Captain and Punisher as allies. That was nice. That was nice. Oh, man. We've got a ton of additional KVK madness coming up in the following videos. We've got no small amount of fort defenses where we are captaining for DFH. We've got no small amount of rallies and open field combat remaining. If you like these KVK videos, you should definitely like and subscribe because this, we've got like still two days of footage from the four-day madness from the start of our KVK that we're going to cover. And until next time, you have fun. Smashing the kingdom.